Hello. Hey, what's up? We're in a slightly different place for this podcast, so sorry if it sounds a bit different. I think I, it'll still sound good. I don't know why it would sound different, but still. Hello and welcome. It is almost Christmas and we didn't do a podcast last week. Yeah. So, we're but liars. We were, we were busy last week, though, in fairness. Sorry, readjusting. Yeah, we were fairly busy, but at the same time, we did make a promise and we didn't keep it. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, hope you're well. Hope you're getting ready for Christmas. And if you're listening to this after Christmas, hope the big day went well. Hope Santa came. <laughs> uh, that's it all I, over for another year, I, you know yourself. That, that's always like a dad thing or like a, a, a middle-aged man thing to say. Just, just tell help. That's it over for another just, year. <laughs> just before everybody goes to bed, just that's it over for another year. No, else, all even the after, the, cri- yeah. after the opening of the presents. Well, that's that. It's not known truly after Christmas dinner. When do you have Christmas dinner, listener? Do you have it during the day, like lunchtime? Or do you wait until the evening? Because we have it at lunchtime and I think that's the optimum time to have it. Because you've had your breakfast and then you have Christmas dinner. And then you have all afternoon to eat as much crap as you want. Yeah. Whereas if you have it in the evening, you're like full of like... Crap anyway. Chocolate and stuff. But yeah, let us know. Um, just to let you know, if you don't say around like midday slash 2, 3 p.m., you're wrong. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're wrong. Just that is as far as it goes. Just... Yeah. We got ready for, I feel like we got ready for Christmas really late this year. I think it feels late, but I think it was the normal time. Yeah. Um, for our family anyway. Roughly-ish. I think last year we got ready earlier than normal because it was brother's wedding. Yeah. But, um... But it still felt really late, and now it's just like Christmas is coming up. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, Christmas! I'm still kind of not hyped. I'm hyped. You're hyped. Like, right now, the day of recording this podcast, it is... The 16th. It is the 16th, which is Nine Sleeps of Christmas. We're in single, single figures. And last night we watched Elf with the family, and it was beautiful. Um, Elf is currently on the TV as well. I've just brought it up. But yeah, we, we watched Elf and my mum just didn't get it. No, she did. She I did. Think she just start, got, she got just... confused between um, Buddy's actual dad and Papa Elf. Because yeah. at the end it was like, no, but Buddy's dad was big. And it was like, no, 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 mommy, this is Papa Elf. This is this is Buddy's ste- like adopted dad. Pretend dad. Um, I think it was because she was on her phone. She wasn't paying attention at the start. And then I think she kind of got into it then. Yeah. And she was like, oh, this is actually quite good, but I don't understand. And then, but she she said, she said that she would watch it again. So I think that's a success. Yeah. Elf, Elf I'd say, is my favourite Christmas film. No, I, I don't know. know. I like Home I like, Alone. I like Home Alone and the Polar Express. I don't have a favourite Christmas film. I don't have a favourite Christmas song either. I want to. I don't want... No. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? I don't even know how it goes. I know that first note. <laughs> And that's as far as it goes. And I'm just like, oh, it's this song. Oh, and then I switch off. Like, not like I don't switch off the Christmas music because that's illegal. But like, I, my yeah. brain goes elsewhere. But yeah, I can't remember what else we were going to talk about. Uh, we were in London again. Yeah, we were in Shakespeare's Globe. That was great. That was really exciting. But we were sleep deprived. That was not exciting. We were sleep deprived, and our wee puppy went to sleep. Did we talk about this? I think we already yeah, talked, we about, talked this. about that. Yeah. It was like called Good Boys. So Oh yeah, it was it was the day after. Yeah. But yeah, we were just knackered and I was just overly sleep deprived and then on the Tuesday morning we slept in. We slept in because I was just up half the night, just like not even like sick. Sick. Like not broken. But like just I don't know. Like you know the way whenever you get so tired that you just can't sleep? Yeah. It was that And you feel kinda sick as well. Yeah. I think every that. time you moved I got woken up because yeah. you had to share bed, so that was fun. But I'm feeling slightly better now. I'm looking forward to next week whenever the gym's actually like closed forever because honestly that's the only reason I wouldn't go to the gym yeah. because I just feel obligated to go whenever there's whenever it's open. Like last week it was closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. So on Tuesday we we did, we did our Christmas shopping most of it anyway. Yeah. And then Wednesday we stayed at home and set up the turbos and we we only ended up doing like an hour on the turbos. But like it, by the time we had shifted everything around, yeah, it was sort carried of... stuff up and down, and um, but yeah, that was fun. We need to sort out, uh, like films and stuff that we can watch. Will Ferrell has some good calf muscles in Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, London. We went to Shakespeare's Globe, and it was really really cool. There was a guy, and he was doing like a tour and like the history of it, 
Um, and I really enjoyed that. I thought it was quite nerdy, but quite cool. It was really funny too. Yeah. Um, and then I completely bombed doing my monologue. So that was great. Um, <laughs> Not as much as me. Day. I couldn't even remember my first words. And I couldn't even remember it on the second day either. I know it now, but... I, I, I managed it on the second day-ish. Um, but then I got fed the wrong line, so I was a bit annoyed with that. I was like, that was the wrong line, but I couldn't remember the line that came before I just realised I sent the wrong monologue. We were supposed to send our Shakespeare monologue, wasn't it? It was both. Shakespeare and contemporary. No, 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 but it was the monologue we were supposed to send. Yeah, why would you send it? I sent the geologue. Oh. That's... I'm gonna have to redo that. Yeah. Eh. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, but like don't don't do your thing, right? Okay. It's just like the feeling in my nose. I don't think I will sneeze, but just it's 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 there. Very few men can pull off tights. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's ballerinas, but are they like, not leotards? Are they not more like leggings? I suppose. It, I suppose no, those would be more like leggings because yeah. they're quite thick tights. I mean, they're from the North Pole. They're all wearing tights in this. The yeah. North Pole. I like this little guy with um, the red hat and he looks like he's wearing a Santa costume and he has the wee beard just around his jawline. <laughs> if you know who I mean, like, great, but if not, like, no worries. Is and it Ming Ming? Ming Ming. I think it's Ming Ming. Hold on. I'm going to Google it. So, so what's going to happen is we're going to, we're going to chat a wee bit more and hopefully we're going to get one done either during the week or next week, next Sunday. Um, just because... The Sunday after, we're going to have family over and we're not going to have a chance, but we want to keep... We might have a chance. We might have a chance, but also we'll do one next week just to, just to tide us over, whether or not we release it next Sunday or like save it and schedule it for the week after. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, well... So we do have some questions. Yeah, I'm just getting them. And maybe we'll make up some of our own just to... Just to tide us over. Just to... Okay, so... um, This is from... Alan. Hey Alan. I do believe Sup. I do believe that I do believe your name is Alan. My old geography teacher was called Alan. I feel like I should email him just to be like, what's the crack? Do you ever get that though? You wanna just email someone random. It's like I haven't spoken to you in years, but your email address just popped into my head. Oh no, I do that with Facebook. Yeah. It's like I wanna Facebook message you and just be like, Hey, what's the crack? What you up to? You should do that, listener. If you wanna go out there, just email someone you or like message someone you haven't messaged in ages and so just be like Sup. You're saying I should do that? Yeah. Okay. You should too. I will send a little email to my old geography teachers. And just tell them that you're still unemployed and so Yeah. Yeah. But I do a podcast now so you can keep up with my daily unemployed <laughs> life. <laughs> yep. Hey, if you're listening. That's what we should have called this, like, unemployed life. Um, but we, yeah. We would, it would have been obsolete whenever we got jobs. We could have. I hope we get a we job. We could have changed it to employed life. True. Um, it could have been serious too. Anyway, uh, the first question is, where is the love? Where is the love? The love is right in your heart. I thought it was a museum or somewhere in France. No? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I read this tweet earlier and I, I've been thinking of that all afternoon. Uh. But yeah. Do you have a favourite accessible road crossing? No, I just sort of run. Yeah. We don't... What, yeah, we just... There's a lot of screaming involved and sometimes there's car beeps, but generally I am a pro-destrian. Yep. So... Uh, mostly it's me left on the other side of the road going, Chloe! I generally, <laughs> I generally try and like, I generally try to be like, go, 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 go. Yeah. Or else I make you hold my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Three, do you drink alcohol? No. No. Uh, but just because we don't really like the taste of it. Although gin and tonic is tolerable. And so is, well, I've only tried the wine gum cocktails. So I think that, um. Strawberry daiquiri is good. Strawberry daiquiri is good. Pina colada is okay. And whatever the other one is in the Bassett's <laughs> Wine Gums cocktail one. <coughs> Bless you. There it is. Should we bless people when they cough? Yes. I think you should go, um, yeah, like, bless you or excuse you or something nice. Yeah. That's not the end of the questions. Okay. If this isn't the way to Amarillo, where are we going? Probably to your house. Yeah. Oh, that sounds stalkery. That is stalkery. I was going to say to... Your new sofa looks well. Imagine someone was listening to that and they were like, I have a new sofa. Fab. I'm sorry. I was a joke. But, I mean, cool that it worked. Please tweet and say that it worked. Um, at skit underscore twins. Uh, if this isn't the way to Amarillo, where are we going? I mean, the ultimate destination for us all is death. Yeah. 
Oh, that got that got dark. That Happiness. Got dark. Can, can you definition? De- can you read braille? Definition. Destination is happiness. But can I read braille? I can read a bit of braille. Okay, I can't. I can tell the difference in braille between What's male and female toilets. What's the one that's three dots and it's one here, one above it, and then one to the right? Um, that's a number. Is it? Or like it's it's a letter, but then if it goes before. If it goes at the start of a thing, then it means it's a number. Oh, too. okay. Well, I know that one. <laughs> I can recognise numbers. <laughs> There's a number here. What number is it? I have no idea. Um, and final question is, what colour is the feeling of sound? Yellow. Really? That's what I think it is. The feeling of Like, the feeling of sound to me is like, you know, like the bass? Yeah. Whenever, like, whenever you're listening to music and stuff. I guess maybe it depends on what sound it is, then. Because yeah. I think if it was bass, it would be like black or navy. Yeah, or it's else a dark like color. or else like blue on a back on a black background. Yeah, I'm just thinking of Windows Media Player. That's true. I imagine it as wiggly lines just going doof 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 doof. But yeah. Um. Oh, we're, we're watching a scene. Don't see. <laughs> we're watching a scene in Elf, and we're sitting quite close to the TV, so we can see it. But um, we're yeah. cr- we're looking at crotch height, crotch height with uh, Will Ferrell and tights. Yeah, you see a lot. Yeah, that's not yes. fun. Um, anyway, thanks for your questions. That was fun. Please um, do send more. That like, was yeah, I enjoyed doing that. Um, the color of sound that's gonna that's gonna keep me thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I think do 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 numbers and letters have colours for you? Numbers do. But that's just rainbow colours. Yeah. But that's just because you like the rainbow. But it changes whenever it gets like above eight. Why? Because there's no more colours in the rainbow. So do you like see for me it's like one to nine is like different colours and then it's sort of the same for like like three, thirteen, and twenty-three, blah blah blah, yeah. would be the same ish. Something. Yeah, kind of, but thirteen would be like, or like, yeah, thirteen would be yellow and black stripes. Oh. So like the like the, like tens. Yeah, you've got single figures and then tens. Tens would be stripey. Twenties would be stripey, but with a different color. Interesting. Um, do you have any that colors? I mean, no, uh, words. Do you have any numbers that would be giraffe striped? Giraffe, giraffe patterned? I don't know. I think a hundred would be a giraffe. No, I think a hundred. Ninety-seven, I think, is a giraffe printed number. Because it's quite tall. Like, yeah. they're two tall numbers together. Maybe seventy-seven because it looks like friendly giraffes. Giraffe Maybe. friends. There's a cuddly toy giraffe beside me. <laughs> That's what made me think of the giraffe thing. <laughs> I like giraffes. Giraffes are cool. We wrote Christmas cards. We did. We finally got our like stuff together and decided to do it. I've um, sort of been talking about it for ages and we didn't get Christmas presents sort of though. So they're going to be New Year's presents. <gasps> you know Mommy's what? Christmas presents going to arrive on time. Yay. Very pleased. What about daddy's? Yep. It's going to be here too. Cool. We're getting them CDs because they don't listen to a podcast so we can just spoil their presents. Yeah. I'm wearing a Christmas t-shirt. I don't have a Christmas t-shirt. You should get one. I should. Got this one on Primark like three years ago for £2. Nice. It hasn't fallen apart yet. It hasn't. It's actually pretty decent material. Primark clothes tend to fall apart I think. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know why. They're just. I guess they're old. What else has happened? I got new Could glasses. I got new glasses. I did get new glasses. I am going to put them on right now. Great. Even though that you can't... has made such a difference to this podcast. I know. <laughs> I was going to say, do, do I sound clearer? Because I can see clearer. Um, but they're like, they're weird because they work with like all my vision. Whereas my glasses before, I could only wear for distance. Um, whereas these ones work for everything. But I have to give my eyes time to adjust before I go and read my phone. And it sometimes makes me dizzy because I tried to pick glasses that I wouldn't look under or over, but I still look under them because my nose is a weird shape, so the glasses sit ridiculously high up my face. That. Okay, yeah. So I will basically never 
be able to not look under glasses. That really sucks. It I does. didn't get glasses because I couldn't find frames that I liked. Um, because Chloe stole the frames that I liked and I didn't I... have my prescription thing with me yeah. that day. So that's sad. But yeah, it's Christmas, but it's not cold. Like, it's a wee bit cold, but it should be snowing. Yeah, it was starting to get cold. Well, people over in England and Scotland and stuff, they're all getting snow. Glasgow isn't. No, Edinburgh isn't. Yeah. Well, most of... Well, I didn't... I just sort of meant Scotland and England, like, generally. I didn't mean, like, every single place was getting snow. I just sort of meant, like, most places. Some places. Is is Glasgow getting snow? I don't know, I just know that Scotland and stuff we're gonna get some snow. What? I They're wish gonna we... get a lot of snow and snow drifts. Aww. I love a good snow drift. I like snow. We haven't had snow, like decent snow in a few years now and it's really sad. Yeah. No, no, we did get decent snow. We got a bit of snow in January. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. The beast from the east. Was that in January? I thought that was like April time. No, 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 that was March, April time, but I'm talking about here. We got some decent snow in January. And then March, the beast from the east arrived, but we didn't really get much of it. Much of it. We just got a wee bit of a wee bit of a dusting, a wee skiffle. Skiffle. Yeah, that's gonna be my Northern Irish word of the week. There. It's good. Good shout. Skiffle. It's meaning um, just like a wee dusting. Wee bit. Yep. Totally wee bit. Totally wee bit. That's more Scottish. A wee bit Scottish. Um, tell your story about the roses. Oh yeah, you know the way sometimes you're like, oh there's a wee box of roses and they're open, I'll just sneak one. You can't do that with roses, because they're really loud to open. Like, it just snaps the whole way around. And I think they made it, like, purposely for that, so that you just couldn't open it quietly. Because I was up in my room and there, there's a box of roses just out in the hall, which is sort of, not exactly directly below my room, but sort of fairly close, sort of diagonally. If that makes any sort of sense. Um, just downstairs, diagonally, there's there's a couple of walls and floors in the way. <laughs> this description and, um, is hilarious. And Sorry. yeah, I heard somebody sneak out and they picked up the box and they gave it a wee shake and they were like, oh, there's sweets in here. Well, I assume they gave it a wee shake. But they like... But surely they, they pick it up and it just feels a wee bit like... They opened it, heavy. like, tentatively. Like, slowly? Yeah, slowly, but it just went... And then I think eventually they were just like, screw it, it's just making a noise. And it just went, <laughs> <laughs> and opened. Yeah, we have we have really, really noisy boxes of roses here. Yeah. You know, you should definitely tweet us if your roses box doesn't go, <laughs> whenever you open it. Sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah. I think that's quite a cool noise for a box to make. I hope I don't, like, I hope I, I tried to stay away from the, the mic, but I'm not sure if it worked, if I was like far enough away. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Um, I'm I'm loading to see if we have any more questions. Okay. You sent me a list of topics earlier. I did. I can check that up again. Um, I sort of thought that's what you were doing. I haven't been to a toy shop yet. Although we did take our family trip to home base last week. It was it was glorious. Yeah. There's there's nothing better than sitting looking at Christmas lights. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's really all we have to say. Plus, we have to go somewhere now, so we're gonna have to wrap this up wrap like this up. like a wee present with yeah. a bow and ribbon. So a wee bow on the top. We are. So um, thanks very much for listening. Um, if you have a question, do tweet us uh, at skit underscore twins or at skit under slash twins, depending on which you prefer. Uh, you can find us always on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, obviously SoundCloud and the iTunes podcast app. Just search for Skit Twins and hopefully we'll be there. Follow us, like us, subscribe to us, leave us a comment, leave us a review, give us five stars, give us your credit card details, <laughs> give us your address. Give us a job. Give us a job. Um, give us money. If, if you do enjoy our accent, do have a look out for some other Northern Irish podcasters and comedians. There's Sean Hegarty, Shane Todd, Dave Elliott, The Fellowship, Gettis, the fellowship Guys. Um, yeah, give them a search as well. Um, yeah, that's that's about it's it. Solid. Another podcast coming your way soon as we bonus one to say yeah, something. Yeah, this one's late and short. Yeah, so. it's only twenty minutes long. But take care. Be good. Love you. Bye. Go well. Go well. Cheers.